All right, this is gonna be the last section in this unit. Uh, so we're gonna be looking uh, at quadratic models and being able to build uh, a quadratic function from data and then answer some questions. So it's the only section we're doing in chapter three. Um, so here we go. So quadratics, they're nice equations that are used in a ton of application problems. The physics of gravity, and projectile motion, business application, lenses and reflection. Uh, the structure of a quadratic makes it possible to find maximum and minimum values without having to use any sort of calculus. Um, <clears throat> we can just use algebra. So other polynomials require the use of calculus and the resulting techniques. Because um, if you did algebra with other polynomials, it would get really crazy. Uh, but quadratics you don't have to they can maneuver just fine without calculus so think about the equation y equals x squared minus 4x this function this one in particular has a minimum value this value is located at the vertex so now let's find this minimum value and where it occurs. So it's like, well, how did you know it had a minimum value? Well, let's think about the graph. This is a parabola. Well, what shape does that parabola have? Well, it's gonna be a U shape because it's a positive X squared. And my X intercepts are at zero and a four, like if I factored this, set it to zero, it comes out as zero and a four. Well, because it's shaped this way, that means there was an, a minimum, like an absolute minimum. And it's right down there. So the minimum value, <clears throat> we can figure out what it is and we can also figure out where it occurs. So the vertex, the nice thing about parabolas is that the vertex is right in between the two x-intercepts. So what number is between zero and four? Two. <clears throat> so when x is two, if I plug that into the function, I would get negative four as a result. So the minimum is negative four and where it occurs or its location is when x equals 2. Okay, so now let's look at the equation y equals negative x squared minus 8x plus 5. So if I were to draw this, because it's a negative x squared, that would give me an upside down parabola. So that means it's got a maximum value. as opposed to this way when it was a minimum. So this value is still located at the vertex right there, right at the top. So find the maximum value and where it occurs. Now this one is a little different. Like I know it's shaped this way, but if I set this equal to zero, it doesn't factor like this one did. Um, which means my intercepts are gonna be a little bit more difficult to work with. Like I'd have to use the quadratic formula to find them, which means there's square roots involved and all sorts of stuff. So when it's not easily factorable, if it's expanded out like this and you can't factor it, then you're gonna use an alternate way. You're gonna use x is equal to negative b over 2a, and that would be where where that vertex is gonna occur. And it doesn't matter if it's if you're looking for a max or a min. A vertex is a vertex. <clears throat> so the B value is negative eight. So negative negative eight is eight. And the A value is a negative one. So the X value is negative four. So that's where it occurred. Now you gotta find the actual maximum value. So take your negative four, plug it into the function. And we're 
work it out. <clears throat> so that would be negative 16 plus 32 plus 5 to give you a 21. So your maximum was 21 when x was equal to negative four. So you have two ways where you can find uh, the vertex, or where you can find these maximum values and where they where they happen. And it all depends on if it's easily to factor, um, if it's easy to factor, or if it's not. <clears throat> okay, so there are several types of problems that can be modeled with a quadratic, and most of these problems are interested in what these max or these min values or the y value and where they occur or the x. So as long as we can set up a quadratic, we can follow the processes we used in the above problems. So I'm going to stop the video here and then we'll look at the actual application problems um, and to see how to set them up and see how this stuff is going to apply.